What inspired you to create your bizarre adventure, the popular game on Roblox? Well, I always thought it'd be really cool to entertain people. And when <laughs> I can't do that again, I, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Richard first approached me with his game idea after one of my graphic design courses. He was one of my star students and I decided to become his initial testers and also helped him get an investor into his game. Dr. Jean and Sir Richard first came to me when the game was still in its planning stages. I did not really understand the early parts of the game. I still needed a lot of work. Even though I was very questioned with the game, Dr. Jean was an old friend of mine and I owed him a favor. I decided to invest. It was actually quite frustrating how much the investors were pushing me. I was already working day and night to complete the game. They didn't seem to understand that Rome wasn't built in a day. As a strong investor, I was immensely frustrated with Richard and his game. He continued to say Rome wasn't built in a day. Well, Rome didn't cost $200 million. As the class continued, Richard began to struggle in my class and seemed to be very distracted between his other classes and the game. It seemed like the game was starting to consume him and he was no longer in control. But Roblox was actually in control. I had no choice but to kick him out of the class <laughs> and sell all my Robux. I was scared and I was thinking about pulling my money out of this investment. Everyone was on the edge and I had to turn it around. My game was nearing the corner of its first testing phase. Once testing finally came out, it had been three months since I put in my initial investment. Even with the success, we weren't going to make any money for at least three months, so I came up with an idea. His idea was to ask Epic Games to turn my game into a mini game in Fortnite. My game was meant to be a cultural changer, and he thought it was only worth a Fortnite mini game. I don't see what was so bad about it. I had a friend at Epic Games who got us a great deal. I thought it was a win-win. Soon after this, I began working harder and even quit my job as a Redditor and worked 60 hours a week. I started to notice he wasn't leaving the house, so I decided to check in on him and saw what no man should ever see. Gamer Tan. Once the game was released, it was extremely popular and me and my investors gained over a trillion dollars after the first month. When he first called me, my mind was blown and I decided to let him go ahead with it. It's crazy really. I'm just happy he released the game before he worked himself to death. It just goes to show you, no matter how many setbacks and L's you take, never give up. 